What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're showcasing a team made by a Pokemon World Champion. We got ourselves Wolfie's team that he used in Charlotte Regionals. Now this team right here, full of meta Pokemon. Very, very strong team and I'm hoping you guys can actually rent this code and actually push high ranks. Hence the reason why I want to use it video but the first pokemon we are going to talk about is going to be urshfu in that top left hand corner urshfu super strong one of the strongest pokemon in regulation has unseen fist and the choice scarf as item making it outspeed most pokemon and on top of that hit through protects We've got surgeon strikes close combat aqua jet and u-turn moveset that you guys definitely seen before seam also features in sonora and robin who are two solid pokemon especially when on the same team gives us two fake out users Furthermore, we can drop attack stats with Parting Shot and Intimidate on the Sidonor, and we can also change up terrain and have terrain control with Rillaboom's Grassy Surge ability. Our final three Pokemon on today's team is going to be Ogre Pond, Fluttermane, and Frigorip. Ogre Pond is going to be a great physical attacker with Sword Stance, Fluttermane is going to be a great special attacker with Calm Mind, and Frigorip just a phenomenal support Pokemon in Scarlet. Guys, want to rent the team for yourself? Rental code is at the top right hand corner. And if you do enjoy today's video, make sure you leave a like on it and subscribe to the channel. But without further ado, let's hop on that rank ladder. Let's grab some wins with Wolfie's team. First match is on its way, and we're going up against a Shift Tree team alongside with Dreaded Boy Smeargle. Hate going up against Smeargle. That thing spores me too much. They also have Ogre Pond, Flutter Main, Galarian Zapdos, which is a cool Pokemon, and last but not least, his Suin Arcanine. Okay. I see you. I see you, Smeargle. So, Smeargle, gonna be annoying. We're gonna have to deal with Smeargle. I don't really feel like dealing with Smeargle, but we're gonna have to deal with it. Um, our lead could be maybe like, hmm, could be Incineroar or like a pickout user such as Rillaboom, which wouldn't be bad. I could go Rillaboom and Ogre Pond, two grass type Pokemon that could dodge Spore. That's honestly pretty good, and I feel like that's gotta be our lead. So, I'm gonna lead both of these guys. Um, furthermore, we are going to bring Urshifu in the back end, or maybe not Urshifu. I think Fluttermane could be solid. Can never go wrong with Fluttermane. Last but not, but not least, let's go Urshifu here. We just have to remember about Wellspring Ogre Pond because we can't choice into a one move here and have Ogre Pond just ready to win, right? That is just a problem. That is just a problem. But I love our lead. Two grass type Pokemon. We're not dealing with Sport. We're not dealing with Smeargle. I'm sick and tired of being put to sleep by Smeargle. So hopefully they honestly lead Smeargle and just face a little bit of a problem, right? Let's see. They don't lead Smeargle, but they end up leading Shift Street, which I don't mind Shift Street out on the field here. So from here, I could fake out, which is good. He can also fake out with Shift Street. So what's my play here? My play might just be to Tarasla instead of setting up, but instead of setting up a Sword Stance, I think I might just launch an Ivy Cudgel into that slot. Your speed should be rather high, right, Ogre Pond? 178, yeah. So yeah, I'm gonna Tarasla and just throw an Ivy Cudgel in that slot. And I'm just gonna rip a Fake Out into Shift Tree slot because Shift Tree does learn Fake Out as well. So let's see what they end up doing here. We're putting on the mask. We're looking to get after. Now, honestly, Shift Tree might outspeed Roll Boom, so maybe I should just fake out the Zapdos to play it safe. We'll see. We'll see. But we embody aspect. We got a plus one attack boost, which we love. And yeah, they do outspeed. I should have faked out this after. I should have realized that. Fake out's just going to chip up damage onto him. And now he's going to go for what? What are you going for? Tailwind. Oh, man. Yeah, we should have faked that thing out. Would have been gorgeous. It would have been gorgeous. Would have been lovely. So Wind Rider going to come out here. This thing gets an attack boost now. He's ready to roll. He is ready to roll. Okay, so from here, we kind of need... Just spiky shield and kind of buy out some time here. So I'm thinking of just you turn pivoting and deal some damage on the shifter here. Yeah, that's the plan. So we're gonna do that. Um, we do have Urshfu in the back, and Urshfu, eh, not really gonna do anything crazy, especially with the terrain out and them having some speed on their hands. I'm just gonna pop the spiky shield. They're gonna go for Brave Bird. That is gonna KO me, isn't it? Yep, we call damage going crazy. I'm just gonna go from there. What ship you going for? Knockoff, maybe? What you got cooking here? What do you have cooking? Uh, he took a lot of damage. The ship tree's thriving out here. Zapdos doing some monster damage. And from here, we could probably just go into Fluttermane, right? It's either Fluttermane or Urshfu. I mean, I do get a speed boost from this, correct? You get a speed boost from this, which is actually really good for us. So I'm gonna go into Fluttermane here. Um, we love this. 
Now, Fluttermane can outspeed. With the, with the booster energy, that could be massive. Because Dazzling Gleam can finish off that Zip Zap right there. And then we can waste out another turn of Tailwind by protecting next turn. Okay, yeah, we need Fluttermane to pretty much outspeed. So I'm going to go for Ivy Cudgel here. Um, into you. And we're just going to go for a... Oh, we don't have Dazzling Gleam. I'm just going to go for Moonblast in this slot. All right, I'm cool with that. Let's see how this one plays out here. Just need to buy out some time here. Just need to buy... I need both my Pokemon to survive here. Because if they both survive here, we have a hot chance of winning this match. Because then we get speed back. We have our Urshifu in the back end. Let's see how this one plays out here. Let's see how this one plays out here. Because I don't think Knockoff is KOing any of my Pokemon. Actually, with the plus one attack boost, looking a little scary. He ends up hard swapping the Zapdos. So that's fine by me. Arcanine is now going to fly out here. Not bad. We know this thing does have E speed, which is a little scary. And he's going to intimidate, bring my attack stat back down to normal. Intimidate comes out here. Moonblast is out speed, which is big time news, but not doing really any damage onto this thing. Knockoff going to fly here. You should soak. You do soak. That's massive. Ivy Cudgel should still KO. And we do. Well, we should. Yeah, cool. We do. Awesome. There's a big time KO. Um. I think I have Protect on Flood, I mean, right? Calm Mind, Shadow Ball, Protect, and Moonblast. But at this point, a Double Protect is perfect. We waste out the last turn of Tailwind. Um, we maybe get to see their final Pokemon. And then Urshifu's going to be gorgeous here, because we just have to get rid of Zapdos. We just have to get rid of Zapdos. We can't allow him to set up another Tailwind. So we'll see who they go into here. Solid first match here. They're going to end up going into Fluttermane. So they don't have... Dude, they don't have... What's it called? My Urshifu thrives here. My Urshifu thrives here. So we're definitely spiky shielding. We're definitely going for Protect here. And we'll see how this one plays out here. It could potentially have Calm Mind, but we just have to... We just have to do this. We just have to get after it. Their Fluttermane's probably... It's not as fast as my Fluttermane. Which is good. And if they're not going to Terrasalize, we can just Shadow Ball. It's a lot. Just pretty lovely. I'm gonna spiky shield. We're gonna protect. We're gonna waste out this last turn of Tailwind. They're gonna go for a Shadow Ball. <clears throat> and they didn't boost our energy. I don't believe they did. Again, our Fluttermane should be faster. And he's going for a Head Smash here. We block. So we're blocking all these moves right now. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. So from here, we get back some HP. We're really hoping that this Shadow Ball does KO. Because their Tailwind's gone. It's gone. It's straight up gone. And honestly, I want to double down to Fluttermane, but at the same time, I don't want to. Uh, we're just going to end up Grassy Gliding here. And just ripping a Shadow Ball into the slot. Shadow Ball. Grassy Glide's going to fly here. Nice damage on the Arcanine. Shadow Ball's going to connect. Can it KO? Can we get a big time KO from Fluttermane here? We don't. I should double down. But I do get a special defense drop. Nothing crazy here. Shadow Ball's going to fly into that slot. And Head Smash is also going to follow through. And I believe it's going to take... Recoil damage where it dies, right? <clears throat> oh man, this is this is coming down to it. This is a problem here. This is a big time problem because I died of that. You probably died of recoil damage because you did intimidate us, so you don't have you don't have your ability. And now it comes down to a two v one where we're in a weird situation where I think both their Pokemon can one shot, me. and I don't have Terra. I should have doubled down into the Flutter Man. If I got rid of Fluttermane, we probably won this match. I can't take out both of them at the same time. I can't. They got Brave Bird and they got Moonblast. Who do I KO here? I, I have to. I think they just doubled down in the middle. They're scaring me, man. They're scaring me. All right, we're just going to go off of who has better defense stats. Special defense is higher. We're going to go after the bird. We're going to KO the bird here. I'm going to KO the bird. My special defense is higher, but I don't think we survive a Moonblast or anything. Right? I don't think we do. Surgeon Strikes is going to KO the bird. If we just survive one turn, that's all I ask for. We can win match number one. That's all I ask for. So we take out the bird. Urshifu in the back end looking great. Moonblast about to pop through here. Or Dazzling Gleam. Probably Moonblast, right? Unless you don't have Moonblast, which I would love. Are you, oh, are you choice? Are you choice? That that looks like choice spec damage. That looks like a choice spec Fluttermane. 
That explains why it wasn't booster energy either. That looks like a choice spec flutter main. Let's go. That's massive. That's massive. So we made the right call going after the Zapdos. Flutter main ended up being choice spec. We kind of luck out there, but hey, we'll take that win all day. We are 1 0 to get things started. Hot start for your boy, starting off 1 0. We're hopping into our second match and we're going up against a kind of similar team to us. We both have Incineroar, we both have Rollaboom, we both have Flutter main, we both have Urshfu. The only difference is they have Landorus in, in, in its incarnate form and Raging Bull. So, again, similar teams here. Looking for a win here in match number two. And they don't have Tailwind. We don't have Tailwind either. We don't even have Icy Wind. They might have Icy Wind. But I think I could go into a setup Pokemon, whether it be Ogre Pond or Flutter Main, and try to get this boy set up, right? I mean, they could lead in Sinor, which could be a slight issue for us. But I think from here we go into you. And we also go into Incineroar of our own. I think we do that because we can intimidate. They could go into potential like special attackers. At that point, we can go into Urshifu, which I like. And last but not least, either Ogre Pond or Rillaboom. And I'm thinking we go into Ogre Pond. I kind of like having Ogre Pond and Rillaboom just because the Grass God is so big and so massive. So do we maybe just go Rillaboom instead? Yeah, I think we're going to go Rollboom instead. We shall go Rollboom instead. Alright, I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. Two fake out users. I like it. Can never can never have enough fake outs, right? And they have no way of stopping fake out besides using their two fake out users. So, if they bring two fake out users, we have two fake out users. If they don't bring two fake out users, then we just have more fake out users. Cool. I'm about it. I'm all about it. We could have brought Frigraph to kind of stop their fake out users. But I just want to see fake outs. Let's be honest. Hopefully they lead Incineroar Rillaboom. That'd be hilarious. I want to see Incineroar. We should have led Incineroar Rillaboom. And then they should have led Incineroar Rillaboom. And then we all should use fake out at the same time. Just get out, get out the fake outs right away, you know? They end up going Incineroar alongside with Lando here. Which I don't mind. I mean, hopefully my Incineroar outspeeds their Incineroar. And actually we don't. Because their Incineroar just intimidated before us. Which kind of sucks because I want to set up a calm mind. I really do. I really would like to. And I think I am going to go for a calm mind here. And I'll still try to fake out him. Now, do we think that's a speed tie? Let me check your stats. It's most likely they just outspeed us, right? Yeah, you are slow. So they just outspeed us, so... From here, I'm just going to go for a fake out into this slot, just in case they don't fake out my Incineroar. But we'll see. We'll see. And then we'll look to set up a Calm Mind, because Calm Mind can be juicy. Nice little special defense boost, special attack boost as well. We can start cooking after that. Who knows? Maybe they protect. I know, they're just going to fake out my Incineroar, like they should have. So, solid play on their end. We now go into a Calm Mind, getting those stat boosts. And are you just going for maybe like a Sludge Bomb here, or are you taking out my Incineroar with Earth Power? options here. I mean, chances are you're probably taking out my Incineroar here. No, you're just going for Sansier Storm, which Incineroar, oh, still dies out too. Cool. I was going to say, Incineroar might soak that up, and it doesn't. Always hate that. So, Incineroar drops out early here at the price of our... At the price of our, what's it called? Of our Incineroar, but now we kind of go into a decent position where we where we have Urshifu and, and we have Buttermeat. But I think from here, we're just going to rip a Moonblast into the slot, right? Maybe a Terra Moonblast into the Incineroar slot. I actually really like that, because we're going to turn Surging Strikes over into this Pokemon. Because if they're going to swap anybody, it's going to be Incineroar for maybe, like, Willaboom. And then, like, Moonblast can still do some nice damage. Because I would think they would think that we're going for Surging Strikes into Incineroar rather than... But I'm going to try to get rid of Slando here. Let's see, maybe we should have Terrasalize our Urshfu, considering Fluttermane already has the damage boost to it. And now it's, uh, now it can actually take fake outs too, in case they swap Incineroar. So yeah, maybe we should have, should have Terrasalize Urshfu. And oh, this isn't Fairy? You're not Fairy? I just assumed it was Fairy. <laughs> this might work good, I don't know, let's see. Who are they Terrasalizing? Incineroar, this might work good. You're going ghost. This might work good. I don't know. This, <laughs> I just grass turned. I mean, this might work good. 
This might help us out with the Sands here, Storms, but Moonblast is still connecting, doing half damage, which is huge. They're not popping Berry. Surging Strike's going to finish you off. And what are you going for, Incineroar? What are you doing here? That's my question. I swear, if you're going for Flare Blitz into my, into my Flutter, I'll be upset. I'll be so upset. Let's see what it's cooking. Parting Shot, maybe? Maybe? Flare Blitz, of course. <laughs> I mean, I think we were dying to that regardless, but still... It's so upsetting, man. <laughs> it's just so upsetting. <laughs> I was sitting there, like, normally, like, for pretty much this whole format, it was like, hey, Fluttermane is very terror type almost every single time. So, that was my plan, was just to pop fairy terror type to do more damage. But no, we had grass terror type. Lovely. And now they go into Rillaboom of their own, looking a little scary. If I knew that, I would have just saved their terror. I would have just saved their Terra. So now from here, we are forced to pretty much just go into a fake out into this slot. And bu 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 bump. Maybe just Surging Strikes you because Flare Blitz going to do me dirty. Flare Blitz going to do me dirty. I don't think we need Smash. I think we kind of needed our Terra type. We kind of needed our Terra type. Kind of needed. So I'll finish off Incineroar. He probably uh, honestly swaps Incineroar. Let's be honest here. Most likely swaps Incineroar. Trying to get Intimidate back and then Fake Out's just going to fly in the slot. Okay, yeah, we, we lose this match all day. Thanks for playing. Thanks for playing, Gene. So, big mishap on our end. Going for Actually, go for a knockoff. Hold up. You take off my vest. Can we eat up a... There's no way we eat up Grass Guide, right? There is just no shot we eat up Grass Guide. And I get to go for U-Turn here. We maybe go for an Aqua Jet. No, I'm choice. I'm choice. Yeah, there's no shot we eat up Grass Guide. But this one's over. I'm surprised he didn't just drop a Flare Blitz there. Really surprised. Flare Blitz would have been the play. Would have been the play. There's the Grass Guide. Can you soak somehow? Wait a minute. Hold up. You're dead. He soaked. He soaked. Giving us a shot, but I still don't think we win this match. I still do not think we win this match because I can't protect. I would love to protect this next turn, but I can't. I'm not allowed to. This grass train is just chilling out on the field. I mean, it really depends who they bring out here. Let's be honest. Because how much damage is this U turn doing? Ooh, 10. I don't know if you turn KO. No, no shot it can after this terrain boost. Everest HP boost. We would need to hit this thing twice. I was hoping I can KO him with U-turn and then Woodhammer whatever Pokemon they're throwing out next. Let's see who they got. It's gonna be Fluttermane, and yeah, I mean we could Woodhammer that. And honestly, we should Woodhammer this. Try to KO it right now. And we'll double down into it just in case, but that's our only play. Rest guy gonna finish off Urshifu. Fluttermane's going for Moonblast, potentially Shadow Ball, one or the other. We don't have Assault Vest anymore, which kind of sucks, man. That really does take our special... Yeah, that, that, that really just eats us up. Now, Woodhammer might KO, but Recoil is going to do us dirty. Recoil just does the same. So, we make this match really close. I'm taking off Assault Vest actually helped out tremendously. But honestly, they should have just Flare Blitz in me. But it doesn't even matter. Recoil damage is going to take out Rillaboom, and a bad Terror type on our end ends up losing us the match. So, we're 1-1. One one. Let's go hop into our third and final. Grab you guys that winning record. Moving on to our final match for today's video, and we're going up against Galarian Zapdos again. Love that bird. Nice big time ostrich running around. If you guys remember in Sword and Shield, in order to catch it, you had to run through like the wild area with this thing just going like 100 miles per hour. I love it. I love it. But they also have Ting Lu here for our special attackers. They got Incineroar, then they got Fluttermane and Ogre Pond. And Cresselia. Cresselia is a great Trick Room setter. Um, do I believe they're going to go in Trick Room? Maybe, maybe not. But I'm going to try to set up here with either Ogre Pond or Fluttermane here. Turn one. And. For them to lead, who do I think they're going to lead? Be Incineroar. I kind of just want to go into you. If you're going to go into Ting Lu, you can go into Ting Lu. No big deal. Um, I could go into Rillaboom here. Just set the grass train. Have Fake Out ready to go. Honestly, Incineroar might be better for the lead here. Actually, no. They have Defiant. So, I'm going to go into Rillaboom here. I'm going to go Rillaboom. I am going to go Fluttermane with the booster energy. Something I really, really like. So, both of them are going to come out here. Um, Urshfu in the back end is not bad. We could go Furigarath. And honestly, I'm going to go Frig Raph. They want to pop Trick Room. We can kind of hang around there with Frig Raph. And last but not least, we either go Urshifu or Ogre Pond. And our brain's telling me oh, uh, Urshifu, right? Super effective. Yeah, yeah. We, we got to go Urshifu. We just have to watch out for the Ogre Pond. 
Just had to watch out for them. But we have other Pokemon that can kind of do some big time damage to it. So I'm cool. I'm cool with that. But yeah, last match, I was sitting there. I was just like, all right, I'm going to Terrasilize Fluttermane here. Then it hopped into grass. I was like, oh no, it's a defensive terror type. I just assumed that most Fluttermanes were fairy terror type, right? I feel like the last 50 Fluttermanes I used were fairy terror type. Except for this one. Except for this one. So that was kind of funny. Then I'm going Incineroar alongside with Fluttermane. And we are faster than this Incineroar, so we can fake out its Incineroar if we would like to. We don't have to, but we can if we want to. Uh, now I could go into a Grass Terror if I wanted to. I could honestly go into a Grass Terror. We are going to be able to outspeed their Flutter Man. Um, What is my play here? I think I'm going to Terrasilize and just Calm Mine. And I'm just going to fake out the Instant War. Yeah, we'll just fake out Instant War here. So we're going to go for the Grass Tower here, right in front of Instant War's face. I don't mind it too much. Because I feel like we can make some plays here. I feel like we can boost our special defense. We can eat up a Shadow Ball if that's what they're saying. We can always protect Fluttermane next turn and then bring out... Bring out, what's it called? Urshifu. The Combine is going to boost up. We love it. We love it. And Shadow Ball is going to fly through it. That's fine. That's a fine turn for me. It's fine. Totally fine. So I'm able to soak pretty well. They do get a special offense drop, which really sucks. And you have Covert Cloak on you? How absurd ridiculous is that? It's absurd. All right. So at least we're special attack boosted with Fluttermane at this point. At least that, that's good for us. At least that's working. But now I'm going to bring out Urshifu. Your Covert Cloak? Get on out of here, your Covert Cloak. <laughs> Instead of a Rock Covert Cloak. So I could go Shadow Ball in this slot. I could if I want to. Um, he could Terrasilize you. But I'm just going to do this, and I'm going to play it super safe here, just in case he Terrasilize. We're just going to go into close combat. going to go into close combat. So he's going to end up withdrawing. And he's going to go into Ogre Pond, maybe? I'm going to go Crest here. But Shadow Ball is still doing big time damage to this thing. We love it. Shadow Ball. Bop. Big time damage. Close combat. going to finish this thing off. And then I can keep Shadow Ball if I want to. So the close combat was more of a... Might have to end up swapping or still same with later. I could have went for certain strikes. But the close combat was more of a... In case this thing like Water Terrors. And let's go for Flutter Blitz into my... Into my Flutter main. Then it'd be a problem. Then it'd be a problem. So depending on who they bring out here would really depend on what we do here. But I like the combine boost. I like the special attack boost. So I think they go back into Fluttermane, right? No, they go Ting Lu onto the field. So Ting Lu flies onto the field. Um, We could stick with close combat, which wouldn't be bad. I mean, Shadow Ball definitely going to drop here. We could honestly switch it to Moonblast. Because I think he might protect Ting Lu and go for Trick Room. I think Trick Room's going to be the best friend. Honestly, I might just swap Urshifu in for grab here. Um, what terror type would he go into? Maybe Fairy Terror type onto you? I'm gonna stick with Shadow Ball here, and now I'm gonna switch to Fergraph. I'm gonna swap to Fergraph. I'm gonna reset my choice scarf. If they get off Tailwind, they get off, or not Tailwind. If they get off Trick Room, they gotta get off Trick Room. I'll just try to cancel it next turn with a Protect from Flutter Main and a Trick Room of my own. But I mean, the only way they do get it off is if they terrestrialize this Cresselia right now. They still have terror. I know that. So I bring out the giraffe, and they're going to terrestrialize. So I should have launched a Moonblast in this slot. Yeah, it would have worked a little bit better. Oh no, they're going to terrestrialize Ting Lu into Fairy. Okay. A Fairy-type Ting Lu. Coming out here. Good thing I did reset my choice. Shadow Ball should pick up the KO, right? Correct? Doesn't. Oh, man. Rock's not going to fly here. We'll be fine with that. Um, And there is the Trick Room. The Trick Room does come out and about. So this was a good swap for us. I don't mind it. I do like it. Uh, I do have Throat Spray still in for a grip. I am going to just reverse Trick Room here. Protect Fluttermane and get some HP back from the terrain. And go from there. We just got to hope that if they're going to go for Rock Slide, we don't flinch. Flinch would do me so dirty. It would do me so dirty. 
It would do me so dirty. But good thing we did reset our choice scarf. I love certain strikes in this situation. We have Fluttermane decently low on HP, right? No, I think Fluttermane might be at full. Fluttermane might be at full. I kind of forget. Trying to protect the Fluttermane. Rockslide gonna fly. Again, fingers crossed for the flinches. We can't deal with the flinches. We simply cannot deal with flinch. We cannot. We cannot deal with a flinch. And they're gonna slow me down. Kind of an odd play, but I think they just want to damage off and flutter me. I swear, if you flinch for a graph, we're gonna have an issue. Thank you. I love you, little draft. I love this little draft. Alright. So honestly, Cresselia is low enough where I believe. Do I do I think hyper voice for KO? That'd be real risky, right? Actually, yeah, hyper voice should KO. I'm not even gonna play around with it. So I'm gonna moon blast this slot. I'm just going to Hyper Voice, pop my throat spray, and kind of go from there. So that Frigoraph switch was really, really massive for us. Moonblast is going to do a little bit of damage. We do get a special attack drop on a physical attacker. Icy Wind going to connect here. Deal some damage on the Flutter Main. Slow us down a little bit. And you're going to go for Heavy Slam, which we should soak. Don't. Heavy Slam KOing. KOing through the Grass Tower. Okay. Not that big of a deal, considering Hyper Voice should fly. We pop Throat Spray, which is gorgeous. It does KO. We go plus one on Special Attack to force Spring back out of Flutter Main. We have our Urshifu, who's ready to rock. We love it. We love it. Alright. Did I do any damage to Flutter Main? I'm trying to remember. I don't think we did. I think we just set up a calm mind. They went for Shadow Ball into us. Then they hard swapped them. We did damage to Cresselia instead of Fluttermain. So Fluttermain should be at full HP. Should, right? Yeah, it is. Okay. So now we're sitting here. I think going into Surgeon Strikes is definitely going to play. And doubling down into Fluttermain is probably our best bet. We have to make sure this thing goes out. You have to die. You have to die. So Surgeon Strikes flying. And yes, that's KO. Beautiful. Beautiful. Unless you're buried. I doubt you're buried, though. Cool. Get it on out of here. That's a big time KO into Flutter Main. Um, King Lu shouldn't be able to KO any of my Pokemon. Unless you're Rock and Fisher. That'd be a that'd be bad news for us. That'd be bad news if this thing's Rock and Fisher. And I feel like it's Rock and Fisher now. No, it's Rock and EQ, which both of you guys soak, correct? All day. All day. So now Psychic can fly into this slot. Chip up some damage. And that pretty much wraps up this match. Surgeon Strike's gonna fly. Psychic plus one also gonna fly. Game set match. Good. Good swap for us on the Frig Graph. Reset in the trick room. Ended up winning us the match. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. Two and one. Rocking out with Wolfie Charlotte Regional Team. Love this team so much. The only match we lost was due to me actually not knowing this team and not knowing the terror type on Flutter Main. But again, top tier team right here. A lot of meta Pokemon. Very strong for pretty much any situation in Regulation F. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spend some positive day, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.